As soon as you go to downstream, which is to create a crystal from crystallization, filtration, drying, they don't have proper technology to do it as a continuum. Right. We spoke about automation, so that naturally leads to continuous manufacturing, right? Uh, it still feels like a leap for many brands, like it's a tough task for many brands. From where you sit, uh, what do you think is holding back companies and uh, uh, what is actually helping them take that leap? I mean, uh, continuous manufacturing is, is a big question. Uh, many companies have been looking at continuous manufacturing because they understand it will be the key as well to have better operation productivity. The question, as you mentioned, is why don't they move to that direction? Yeah. Uh, many, uh, I would say, leisure pharmaceuticals has set up some continuous, but the, one of the first issue, they didn't have the full process equipment up to the end stream. They, co they really concentrate into continuous reaction, liquid, liquid, gas, liquid reaction. But as soon as you go to downstream, which is to create a crystal from crystallization, filtration, drying, they didn't have proper technology to do it as a continuous. The second part was, it is perceived that the continuous process you start at one end and you finish at the other end. Yeah. But it's not very flexible. But nobody wants to build usually mono uh, production. They want multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. You need to reconfigure your process. That's why it's still perceived today that batch is more flexible mm -hmm. in operation point of view than continuous. That's why the key is to create what we call modular facility where you can reconfigure your process into combining not necessarily fully continuous, because continuous doesn't mean it's efficient, which is the key. Efficiency is more important than continuous. Right. That's why you can combine batch, semi-continuous and continuous in an efficient plant, but where you can reconfigure your facility to produce different molecules. And that's the key. And as a company, DEC has developed what we call ACPP. Okay. It's Advanced Coverable Process Plant, mean that you can recover your plant as a flow process according your uh, production schedule on your molecules to be produced. And that is a key to maybe unlock this, I would say, concern about continuous process. Great. So the uh, one takeaway which I would personally take is like it, it may not be 100% continuous. It can be a hybrid model where batch and continuous work hand in hand. That's am, correct. Am I right? Right. Uh, and one more concern in layman's term, I would say, semi, semi uh, layman's term, uh, the perception is, okay, if we want to implement continuous manufacturing, we need a complete plant redesign. I know some part of it is answered earlier, but is that a fact or it's like a myth that you need a complete plant redesign for continuous manufacturing? I mean, typically what you do, you will start from the batch. You will look at your existing batch process. And from there, you analyze first the bottleneck because batch will leave some bottleneck. Um, testing is often necessary to understand where the problems are, and then you will test it with some efficient technology. Uh, we have an example, one of our customer, we study uh, an existing process. They had to go through 18 different steps to get to the product. 18 different steps. 18 different steps. After, in fact, re-looking at the different operation, testing with some proper technology, it was able to reduce to six steps. And in fact, we could achieve quality directly with the first step, which was not possible as a batch process due to the design of the batch operation. That's why yeah, at the response, yes, it will still be a new operation, but based on existing knowledge of the batch. And that's uh, where uh, at the end, you will have a much uh, compacter footprint, higher efficiency plot also. Great, so that's like a 66% reduction. I mean, process by itself, right? Correct. And, and I think that's where data integration and uh, everything plays a big role, real-time data integration. That's right. <clears throat> Great.